there's the area of ano, so ang daming pila tingnan mo, baka mamaya ano, bawal pala mag, mag, mag video yan, yan yung pila dito para sa boxing ayan, yung boxing center Pa diyan tayo pupunta habang nandito kami sa kainitan. Ayan, ayan. Ayan dito, yun pinakaunang-unang linya doon. Tamshi. Tamshi. <laughs> Ayan, nasa Zoon C kami. Ang grabe, sobrang daming tao. Social distancing nga lang. Ang na-apply na. Kaya sa mga kabayan natin na uh, gusto magpa-boxin, punta na lang sila dito sa World Trade Center. Magsama sila ng mga kasama nila para at least as family, para tatanggapin tayo dito. So, ang dami pa rin pumapasok. Ando. So, hanggang gabi to. Mas marami kasi dahil nasa trabaho pa yung iba. So, nakikipila na lang sila pagkata after ng work. Kasi ang oras dito hanggang 10 o'clock to Mamshi, di ba? 10, no? Mamshi? Hanggang 10, no? Yung nakaschedule, no? So, hanggang alas 10 dito sa World Trade Center. Kanina kasi nasa initan kami. Ayan, uh, eto ulit, uh, nakareceive kami ng form and COVID vaccine consent form. So, ito yung uh, pipil apan, parang waiver siya. Uh, magsisign ka dyan, ayan, may sign. Yung pangalan mo, yung buong pangalan mo, yung date, saka signature. So, naka-indicate dito, ayan, no? COVID. Tapos dito. So, nakamention naman dito lahat yun. Um, yung consent form to take registered COVID-19 vaccine in the UAE. So, ito yung consent para magkaroon ka ng medical record. So, ito yung statement that the vaccine is, in, is interested individual. I have fully read the COVID-19 information leaflet as a result that I am aware of the risks and benefits of the COVID-19. By signing this consent, I hereby acknowledge that all my questions have been answered to my satisfaction. Yeah. I understand that the taking these vaccines means to get to doses for SARS-CoV-2 inactivated vaccine. I understand that the use of this vaccine might cause some side effect. So, maintindihan natin, there is some side effect of this uh, COVID vaccine. Ranging from some common reaction like pain, tenderness, redness, and duration, proritos, and the vaccination cytosystem systemic reaction such as yan, nandyan yung fever headache, fatigue uh, vomiting nausea, diarrhea cough yung pag-ubo allergy, muscle pain arthralgia lethargy which may occur in some patients so not, not all naman, depende yan sa pag-adapt ng katawan mo. Generally, the mild symptoms subside without treatment. So, kusa naman gumagaling siya. If experience moderate to severe symptoms, then symptomatic treatment under the guidance of the doctor is required. Yan. 
So kung um, mas mas more than that um, yung mararamdaman natin. So better to consult a doctor. Ayan. So I understand that this vaccine has been registered based on the fulfilling the required standard for the UAE dito sa UAE. I understand that the signing this form does not waive any of my medical and legal rights. I understand that I still have to take all the precautionary measures to prevent coronavirus infection or the COVID-19. This consent is applicable to the administration of the first and the second doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. So the, the other page is I hereby acknowledge that I am not having any of the follow of the below mention. Yan, kung meron kang previous hospitalization na ICU ka, na admit ka due to COVID infection. Yan. Had previous severe allergic reaction to the vaccination. Kung meron kang allergy sa vaccination or any medi uh, medicine, so kailangan mo pa rin yan. Uh, sabihin sa kanila uncontrolled epilepsy kung may epilepsy din pala o other progressive neurological disorders so yun so hindi ras sila uh, pwede diagnosed with uncontrolled autoimmune diseases kung meron kang ganun so hindi ka rin pwede diagnosed ka na meron kang acute cancer hindi rin pwede has history of kogolopathy or tombocytopenia ayan kogolopathy or tombocytopenia so kung meron ka niyan, may history ka niyan, hindi ka pwede receiving immunotherapy or inhibitor therapy or treatment that could suppress my immune deficiencies within the last 3 months so hindi ako pwede kung meron ako pero wala eh receive any vaccine within last 14 days or less than 1 month kung may mga injectable ka na tinake or anything so hindi ka rin pwede severe uncontrolled cardiovascular diseases hindi ka rin pwede kung meron kang severe uncontrolled cardiovascular diseases this vaccine will be administered by the healthcare professional as a registered vaccine in the UAE, which already fulfilled all required standards. For ladies, the following are important. No current pregnancy or after the taking COVID vaccine, you should avoid being pregnant during the upcoming three months. By signing below, I agree to take the COVID vaccine. I have discussed the information contained in this document with the individual interested in taking this vaccine and in my opinion that the, that the person understands the risks and benefits. So, yun. So, sign ka na. Yun. Kung pangalan mo, sign at saka date ng ano, vaccine. So, yun. So, ito yung ibibigay natin na form. Ayan, ibibigay natin na form. Kailangan na sign na na siya. Ayan yung sign ko. Ayan. So, say later again. Kasi, marami pa yung nasa loob. Hindi pa sila tapos. What is the time now? It's 6 o'clock in the afternoon. 6 p.m. na po dito sa Dubai. Ay, mag... Yeah, 6 p.m. Magsi 6 p.m. na. So, yun. Another discussion again later. Thank you. Ayan. So, yung mga tao dyan, naubos na. Kami na lang natitira. Pati dun sa likod, wala na. Ayan. Alin? tapos na po yung vaccine ko nandito na ako sa labas hinaantay ko po yung kasama ko na nasa loob kasi 
um, bawal po pala yung tumaas yung dugo. So, medyo ninervyos kasi siya. So, medyo tumaas yung dugo niya. So, hindi pwede. So, pinag-relax po muna siya doon sa loob. So, inaantay ko po siya. Nandito po tayo sa labas. Eh. So, yun. So, sa lahat ng mga kabayan natin, before kayong magpa-inject, feel relax. Huwag po kayong magpuyat. Huwag po kayong ano. So, kailangan i-ano nyo, i-condition nyo yung sarili nyo. Para, hin nandito na kayo nakipila ng sobrang haba-habang pila. So, para ma-injectan kayo, ma-vaccinan kayo, kailangan okay ang pangangatawan natin before tayo pumunta sa mga vaccination center. Para hindi sayang yung uh, pagod natin. Hmm. So, sa BP pa lang kasi, <laughs> ninervyos na si Ms. Teresa. <laughs> ninervyos na. So, tumas yung dugo niya. So, sinabi sa kanya na mag-relax ka. So, nabaksinan na ako. Medyo nangalay kasi. Oo, yun yung talagang, ano, uh, medyo masakit-sakit pa hanggang ngayon. Medyo nag nangalay. Siguro ito yung epekto ng ano, vaccine. So, anong oras na? It's 7 o'clock na. Masakit. So, yun. Soon, mag-interview tayo ng mga uh, nabaksina ng mga kabayan. So, para malaman natin kung at may share din natin sa ating mga kababayan yung mga experience nila regarding sa COVID vaccine uh, na pinoprovide ng ating gobyerno dito sa UAE at saka sa iba-ibang bansa din kung nasaan yung mga kabayan natin kasi uh, all over the world naman eh, may mga vaccine na, na binibigay sa atin so yun po so mga kababayan uh, try po natin uh, i-relax ang ating mga sarili before kayong magpabaksin yan po yung advice ko po sa ating lahat yan wag bong kumpuyat wag um, kumain ng matataba kasi syempre tataas yung hype yung dugo natin so maahay blood tayo so yun so yun medyo diet muna ng konti yan so yun Maraming maraming salamat sa pagtutok sa aking YouTube channel. Um, meron pa itong mga kadugtong na makikita nyo. So, yan. Yan yung ipablog ko. Maraming maraming salamat. Makikita nyo pa rin yung ano namin kung ano yung after effect ng vaccination.